Hey guys, Tony here, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a breakdown and behind the scenes tour of my brand new YouTube studio. Right, guys, so what I'll show you first is the unboxing station. So this is the main set that I use when I'm filming my YouTube videos. And you can see that it's got this awesome overhead rail. And that's where I've managed to put some uh, attachments to help with my filming. So you can see I have this really long extension arm there. And that extension arm is what I've got my B camera, which is the Panasonic Lumix G7 which was the main camera that I used when I was filming my videos initially. Um, I'm currently using the Lumix G9, which is really good. It's got awesome image stabilization um, and can film in higher frame rates, especially if you want to do slow motion. So that's being held up with a friction arm. Just get that into focus there. So there's a friction arm um, and a clamp holding that on. And then I've just used some Velcro strapping, Velcro strapping, I should say to hold that arm up and then the camera is attached to that and that gives me some wriggle room in terms of being able to position the camera um, if necessary. Here you see my primary microphone that I use at the moment. This is the Tackstar mic and I only paid I think $40 for it and it produces an awesome quality um, audio for the price. The reason I'm using that is because at the back there you might see I've actually got the Rode NTG2, and that's an awesome microphone as well. However, it requires an audio interface, and I was using the Scarlett 2i2, but unfortunately I've had to RMA it as it wasn't working on Phantom Power, which is Phantom Power allows you to use a microphone without using any power, and I can plug it into my computer and actually record all the audio. So that will be coming back into effect pretty much in the same position as this Tackstar mic is now. But the cool thing with this IKEA workbench that I've used is that I've got plenty of storage on the other side, which I'll show you in a moment, but also the ability to attach so many different things um, out of view of the camera. So you can see here the camera. This is showing the overhead camera at the moment. See if I put my hand there, it's showing up on the, so there's my hand moving, and then you can see up there. So what this does is if I'm doing an unboxing, I can actually show what I'm unboxing um, and see it so that I know if I'm in frame or not. There's, there's a little red cross right in the middle so I can sort of position it to get it to be in the middle and rotate it and whatnot to get it in the right spot. And that's just being held up with a, um, a clamp, you know, using the quarter inch thread. Um, very easy, very cheap to buy. I will have links in the description to that as well. The monitor itself is is a very affordable, cheap, near-wear monitor. I think I only paid around $100 for it on Amazon. So I'll leave links to that. Doesn't do anything fancy like recording, but you can bring up things like the zebra stripes and see focus peaking and things like that. I'm only using it as a monitor just for placement at the moment for that camera there. That camera is running the 14 to 45 millimeter uh, F1, F3.5 Olympus lens. Um, it does fit, it's a micro four thirds lens, so it fits onto the Panasonic cameras. So the Olympus and the Panasonic cameras can um, generally interchange their lenses in the micro four thirds. But then also we've got this lighting over here. Now these are lighting wands. So in my videos where you see things lit up, generally I'm using these lighting wands to just create a nice halo effect. And the cool thing is they are controlled um, through this remote. So you can see here, I can, I can change the color um, quite easily. You can change it on all of them as well. So I just change that to red. Um, and individually, if you aim it away, I've also got another one there, which I use in my background. Generally, you'll see that one I've got set to purple. Um, if I can find purple on here. Just cycle through them all. There we go. And that's what you normally see in behind me. So for some ambience, I've also set up this really cool uh, pin board or peg board from Ikea. Now this one, 
um, I went and purchased a whole bunch of things just to dress it up. I must admit, I did get inspired by Gerald Undone. Um, he is an awesome YouTuber that talks about cameras and the guy's just a wealth of knowledge. Um, and I saw it in his background and I really liked it. Um, as well, because I'm a very much a DIY guy, as you might know from watching my videos, I like to build things and make things. So um, I've found this handy already when I need to grab something. Got a little stubby hammer and pliers and, um, and a, la a little measure, leveler, sorry I should say, and some clamps and some other odds and ends there. So that was really cool. I'll have links to that as well. It's always sold out here in Australia um, for some reason. Very popular. Then what I've got is I've got my trolley over here. My wife got this from her school. They were gonna throw it out. And then she painted it up for me. And you can see it just allows me to have somewhere to put things that I'm gonna work on. Yes, I do have that Ikea clock there. That Ikea clock is actually gonna go up there. So you'll be able to see it in view. Um, but at the moment I'm storing my Govi lights and it also allows me to put um, that RGB light and as you can see from this angle as I move away you can see the nice glow effect it gives on the wall So that's what this unboxing station is pretty much my main position You can see on there. You can put your legs under there. So I will go around to the other side So that you can actually see and under here I've got two Govi lights. Now these are motion sensor lights that turn on and I've got my um, gear under here. This is where I store all my gear. It's a bit hard to see even with the lights on but I've got like that's a that is a slider there, camera slider and my good old camera bag that's there and that's really awesome storage. So this is the view that you guys normally see and I'll show you as I move the camera down that might look a bit more familiar to you because that's generally where I have the camera. So hopefully that gives you an insight. As I raise the camera, these are all the things that are out of view that you don't normally see. So I've also got these really cool IKEA plants, which I really like. Um, it was a no brainer to buy these and get the little gold pots. I think they just add a really nice um, ambience to the, to the set because you need decoration, you know, to add a little bit of interest. So that's pretty much the unboxing station. So let's move over to set number two. So now we move on to the second set, which is going to be a spot that I haven't used yet, but I will be using it a lot in the coming days and weeks because it is the old armchair that I was using in my theater when I was remodeling my dedicated room. Um, and what I've done is I've created uh, just a real casual space. You can see I've got this cool tree from Ikea. Again, I'll have links to that one. It's a fake tree, but I actually think it looks really nice. Um, and I've also put up these shelves from Ikea, these wire racks. And on there, you might see I've got these two really cool Govi Aura lamps. And um, I'd like to thank Govi for sending these to me. Um, I'll have links in the description to these and they will actually be on sale, a special deal for my viewers um, coming up on the 21st of June. Um, I'll have links to that and the codes in the description. Now I will do some B-roll as I talk right now showing you the various things that these lamps can do. They just really set off um, the set in my view. So if I was to, if I was to sit back here and have the camera sort of roughly here, I'll get the angle right. <laughs> when I'm actually filming but you can see here it just creates a really cool effect having that in the background if you were talking um, I, I don't quite know the angle I'm going to use yet I may not even get that top one in view but um, you can see it just it adds a bit of interest having those lights there and I've got my blu-ray and UHD collection um, on the wire racks it's a pretty abysmal collection at the moment I definitely need to buy some more but I've been spending a lot of money on the actual um, hobby of YouTube so those will come with time but yeah you can see that's the set there and it's nice tucked away I often sit here when I'm talking to people as well when they ring me up I just go and sit on the armchair to get away from the computer so we have uh, my wife bought that pillow as well but you can see there really cool aura lamps again I'll, I'll play some b-roll now so you can check out the different effects that you can get from them
Right, next we move to my main editing workstation and you can see that there in view. And again, this is all from Ikea. Um, my daughter helped me. I'll leave a link in the cards up above to the initial build video where my daughter came with me and she helped me pick everything out. And I've got that um, small drawer there and I can store little things in there. Um, odds and ends, pens, papers, and things that I need throughout the day. You can see I've got that lamp. That lamp is also from Ikea. It's really cool. Um, and in that lamp, I actually have a Govi smart bulb. Now I will show um, how that works, but basically you can, you can control it through Alexa and you can, you can get it to do, you know, change colors. Now the very cool thing to make this into a full smart lamp, what I did is I actually connected it to these and these are a smart plug also by Govi and connecting through Amazon Alexa. So what I did is I connected the lamp to that and that way when I do routines or I ask Alexa to do things, um, she can actually control that lamp as well. I could just say to turn the bulb on and off and leave the power on continuously, but I, I really like the functionality of having the smart plug because then I could physically turn the power off to it as well. So that's, all, that's also from Govi and I'll have links to that in the description as well. But back to the desk, that's the main setup you can see there. It is the main workhorse that I use when I am doing my day job, as well as editing videos and gaming as well. So what you can see there is my monitor. It's a Samsung 4K monitor and I really like the real estate that the 4K gives. And let's just move up to it so you can see what I've got closer. I have an Amazon Studio or Alexa Studio and I use that to control, see the time. You can watch videos on it through YouTube. There's, you can track your Amazon shopping. That's really cool um, that you, you can do these things. I have links to that as well in the description. Got it on sale on Amazon.com. Next, we have a couple of little knickknacks from my kids. Um, on the desk, just things to remind me of my kids um, that they got on Father's Day for me. What I'll do is I'll quickly change the light color of the lamp so you can see it better. Alexa, change the desk lamp color to white. There we go. So you can see there now, um, these are just some cool little knickknacks from my kids. And then you can see my um, Logitech speakers. So nothing's fancy for my audio just yet. I did have some cool Logitech RGB lights, which you will see in my gaming desk setup video. I'll put a card up above to that as well. Um, but these were my sons and I took them back. So I will be getting proper studio monitors so that I, when I'm doing my editing, um, it'll be uh, much better quality audio. But for now, they're pretty good. Um, here you'll see I have an XLR cable. That, that XLR cable is actually for the 2i2 Scarlet that I had for the Rode NTG2. So it does loop all the way around there. Um, like I said, it's um, getting replaced at the moment. So for my keyboard, I'm using a really good keyboard. It is the Corsair um, K95. And this is a premium keyboard, gaming keyboard. I think I'm using Cherry Red um, keys. Not everyone's favorite keys, but I really like them. Um, and you can set all the RGB lights and everything to them. Alexa, change the desk lamp color to red. Okay. I've also got this Cooler Master hard um, RGB boarded um, mouse pad, which is a hard one, which is really good. And I've also got the Razer Naga Trinity mouse. So this allows you to actually um, pop the sides off and you can, um, I'll see. I'll, if I can do it well one-handed you can pop the sides off and you can attach like different things to it it's magnetic and but I just have it on the left and right mouse for the buttons for the moment then I've also got my gaming PC now I have made a video not on the build of this computer but um, to get into focus um, I have not made a video on the build of this because this build is from 2018 so the components in it aren't necessarily um, the latest and greatest. It's got an i7 
8700K overclocked to 5.1 stable with um, a EVGA 1080Ti um, in there, which is still gives me great performance for what it is. Um, it's pretty awesome, I like it. And then we move on to my chair. And that's a Secret Lab chair. Um, I got it in the cloth finish, it's the Omega. I'll have links to that one as well in the description so that you can check it out. Secret Lab, they're no secret, they're, they make awesome chairs. So I also showed that in my gaming desk setup video. But that's what I use generally when I do all my editing. So the set piece will probably be over the shoulder, somewhere like that. Um, and that way it can get, you know, the, the view of me and the screen as well. So that will be the third set piece. So moving to the back, you can see here, I have these really cool LED strips, also by Govi. Now I've actually installed them inside a channel. So they, I've used, um, proper channels like LED channels to um, house them in so that you don't see the, the pixels or not pixels so you don't see the LED individual LEDs and you can see that the glow is pretty um, uniform I'll see how close I can get to it you can see there it's using the the channel and that's screwed into the back of the desk not with adhesive adhesive always falls down so I screwed them in and you can see it gives a nice glow behind the desk. So guys, those are the three set pieces that I'm using in my studio. Um, I'll also show you some of the other lighting that I've got. I've got three bulbs put into the ceiling by my electrician. They're also Govi bulbs. So I'll show you some B-roll of them in action as well because these just create a really nice effect um, when I'm filming it. You, you don't see it in person, but you can see there's a glow that comes down the curtains. Um, these are also Spotlight curtains, which you can buy here in Australia from a company called Spotlight. And they were very affordable. I think that only cost me about $180. Um, and I installed them myself easily enough. And they're block out curtains, so they do um, and, and also, they, I think they're called theatre blockout curtains, so they actually absorb sound too. Especially when they're folded like that, the sound will absorb. So I don't have any other acoustic treatment in this room yet, but um, I will be putting some in, especially because I do a lot of recording in here now, so I do need to address the acoustics. Um, the last light that I've got is another Govi light bulb, which is hanging from the ceiling there. That one is just more of an ambient light. It doesn't do a, a great deal, but I will have links to all of the lighting in the description below, but you can see I'm a big fan of RGB lighting, as you can see from how I've got this positioned and I like the red and the blue. Um, it's difficult to get the lighting to work exactly how you want it, but yeah, it's, um, it's working out well for me. This is the new set guys. What I'll do, I'll show you, uh, just as a sneak peek bonus, I will show you my server rack so i'll turn the light on and i'll give you a little sneak peek there's my server rack this is for my home theater and you can see this is where everything is for my home theater as well as my home network um there is a vent at the top with an air conduct which sucks everything out and i've got i won't give a tour of that you can see that in my home theater video which I'll leave a link to in the cards above as well as in the description. So guys, hope you enjoyed that walkthrough tour of my brand new YouTube studio. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And if you'd like to know more, drop me a comment as well. I'll have links in the description to pretty much everything you've seen in the video. So do check them out if you're interested. I'd like to thank Govi for sponsoring part of this video and providing me with all of the lights that I've used in the setup, all of the Govi lights. Um, you know, I, I was able to achieve a look for my studio that I'm really happy with, and the lighting is a huge part of that. But for now, guys, look out for my next video. 
Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I make content about home theater and home theater guides, builds, and tours. So make sure you hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. But that's it for this one. You'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.